Hello everybody and welcome back to my let's play of Star Trek Judgment Rights. We're in episode void and when the Enterprise entered the Antares Rift, the Enterprise was hit with some massive ionization, I guess, bursts. And when Spock was trying to get to auxiliary control, he was he was all of a sudden taken and in its place an alien appeared. And now we're trying to figure out what uh, try to figure out what what that was and regain control of the ship through auxiliary control. It's been blocked off now. So let's continue. Lighting for this corridor. Ensign Pavel Chekhov. Captain James T. Kirk. Lieutenant Hikaru Sulu. Ensign, Ang Ensign Angus Walker. That's very descriptive of them. <laughs> the sick bay status indicator shows that everything is normal. Sick bay emergency door controls. A ship's communications panel. This is over there. This passage leads back to the turbo lift. El Solo, when the Enterprise is in trouble, who do and guess who Oops. doesn't get the glory? Or the yes, stop com Here, I'll go El back Solo, <laughs> when the Enterprise is in trouble, who do they turn to to save the day? And guess who doesn't get the glory? Or the credit. Yes, let's not forget the credit. Stop complaining, gentlemen. And I thought McCoy was a Major League Rouser. <laughs> Don't worry, Captain. If we can't get Spock back, I wouldn't be surprised if he got himself out of this mess. I'd like to think so, but I fear there are limits even to Spock's abilities. Am I mistaken? Or do I get the impression the intruder could do a lot of physical damage if it wanted? It doesn't need to. The Antares Rift is doing all the physical damage that is necessary. Sick bay. I hate sick bay. Why do we have to come here? Well, Jim, I leave you alone for five minutes and look at the mess you've made. Medical instruments line the wall of sick bay. The other day, uh, Space Seed was on the first episode of Khan in it, and seeing that reminds me of how it got his weapon and put at McCoy's throat. <laughs> Lighting controls for sick bay. Assorted medicines are stacked on shelves behind an enclosure. This equipment allows Dr. McCoy to quickly synthesize chemicals and save his patients' lives. Dr. McCoy, who never understood why people get so nervous in sick bay, it's the safest part of the ship. I guess it's the same as people going to the doctor's office. They're just scared to death to go in there. Find out something's wrong with them and stuff. Though on the starship, I guess it would be better because they have fears of going to the doctor's office right now, just because of the fees I'll be subjugated to and have to pay. Hikaru Sulu doing his best to remain calm in a difficult situation. James Kirk, captain of the Enterprise, who never really liked sick bay. Pavel Chekhov who still has nightmares about the time in sickbay when they conducted close to 50 tests on him, when the others in his landing party were hit by advanced aging and he wasn't. I slightly remember that episode, but I don't really remember what happened in it. They haven't seen some of those episodes in years. Angus Walker, who remembers being in a hospital when he was a child on Earth. This device monitors a patient's condition. It is currently inactive. Personal computer right This here. bed is currently unoccupied. That's meaning this thing is a definitely a personal computer. This bed is current. Here's the sensor scan bolt. Jim, this says our invaders are Vorians. Vorians? But they're extinct. They died out at the time that Cochrane invented the warp drive. They were slaughtered in the Three Systems War. Jim, I know my history, but I also know my anatomy. The alien and auxiliary control is a Vorian. There's only one strange thing. What's that? This creature isn't capable of doing some of the things that you described. 
is an ordinary Vorian. No special organs, no unusual brain patterns, nothing that traditionally suggests superhuman feats. Can you neutralize it, Bones? Actually, it's a female. And yes, I know of something that can incapacitate it without harming it, a gas mixture. You'll have to pump large quantities into auxiliary control for it to be effective, but it should work almost immediately. That's good. Here's the gas, Jim. Be careful with it. There hasn't been a Vorian in 150 years. Take a look at that caster. Vorian gas engineered to paralyze a Vorian without killing it. Uh, the Vorian, I thought was kind of interesting design on how they made it. One thing about some sci-fis that come out there anymore is like sometimes the aliens are a little too simple looking. They don't have some. They don't look really alien. Star Trek and Star Wars were kind of the ones that are the most guilty of it. If we keep having these random explosions, Doctor, I'm afraid your sick bay is going to be overflowing. I thought you were a helmsman. Not the bearer of bad tidings. <laughs> I do many things well, Doctor. I always like Sulu in the original series. Well, Bones, it looks like we have to save Spock in order to save the Enterprise. That's a tough choice, Jim. <laughs> well, Jim, when are you going to bring out the rabbit? The what? The rabbit you're always pulling out of your hat whenever things get really grim. I'm afraid I may have used my last rabbit, Bones. Hello, Doctor. Nice weather, isn't it? You're a navigator, not a conversationalist, Ensign. Yes, I am. And an unappreciated navigator at that. Don't worry, Doctor. I'm all right. You don't need to treat me. Then why are you here? I'm just with the Captain. I'm feeling great. You don't have to... That's fine, Lieutenant. <laughs> I get all that conversation all the time. Oh, wait. Let's see what the what's happening in the uh, communicator here. Kirk to Scott. Come in, Scotty. Captain, the hull degradation is continuing. It's currently. Okay, that's the same. Kirk to Scott. Kirk to Uhura. Come in, Lieutenant. Captain, the rift is providing subspace interference. It's rather unusual. It's as though the interference were coming from subspace itself. I've never seen anything quite like it. If Mr. Spock were here, he'd probably find it fascinating. Keep trying to break through and report anything else that's unusual to me. Kirk out. And... You know, we're just sick Kirk bay. to Scott. Kirk to, Kirk to sick bay. Bones, where are you? Jim, people are beginning to interrupt me. They believe the ship's going to rupture soon, and this is the safest place. Bones, the ship is going to rupture soon, and Sick Bay is the safest place. And Spock's kidnapped by some aliens? I always knew that pointy-eared hobgoblin would outlive us all. I'll do my best to make them comfortable. McCoy out. Some of the wording there is kind of odd. Engineering. Captain, there has been an explosion near the shuttle bay. I'm fine. There has been no significant damage. Any luck communicating with Starfleet Command? I have made contact with the light cruiser USS Jefferson, sir. It will reach the edge of Antares Rift in 16 hours. The Rift is playing havoc with communications. Thank you, Lieutenant Kirkout. The force field generator containment controls used to prevent intruders from getting to engineering. They are not functioning. This panel gives emergency access to engineering for authorized personnel. Since access to engineering has not been shut down, this panel is not active. This board is a summary of the ship's engineering status, so that Mr. Scott and the other engineers will have necessary information before they enter engineering. The hull integrity status looks dangerously low. 
Pavel Chekhov, doing his best to be optimistic in a difficult situation. Angus Walker, going where no security guard has gone before. Jim Kirk, as usual, bearing all the burdens of his vessel. Hikaru Sulu, full of faith and determination. Captain, if we get out of this alive, can we have short leave? Well, you hear what Mr. Scott said about us needing to go to a starbase. Actually, Captain, I had something a bit larger in mind. Chekhov lives for sure leave. I do not. Well, maybe a little bit. This is not one of my better days. Captain, do you think we'll get out of this alive? I really don't know. That doesn't give me much confidence. Really, Captain, do you think we'll get out of this alive? Are you trying to suggest we won't? Will I have to put you on report for threatening morale? Thank you, sir. <laughs> There's an awful lot of corridors on the Enterprise. Kirk to Scott. Come in, Scotty. Captain the Hub. <laughs> Kirk, to, Kirk to Uhura. Captain, the Rift is providing subspace enter. If Mr. Spock were here, he'd... That's the same thing. I have a feeling they're all going to be the same. Kirk to Scott. Come in, Scott. Computer. Kirk to sickbay. Bones, where are you? Jim, people are beginning to Bones, the ship. Okay. Actually, since I saw the thing Kirk on there. Kirk Scott, C computer. Burians. Burians, a race native to Vega 3 with minor psionic talents. They were exterminated by the Antoshi in the Three Systems War. What's psionic? I don't know, it's maybe some kind of like telepathy or something. Deflector control grid. This system prevents the Enterprise from being pulverized at near light speed by micrometeorites. It is what that dish in front of the ship it was for. It's to basically provide a screen so that way little rocks and stuff will not pulverize it because when you're traveling fast those things will hit you at incredible amounts of speed. Artificial gravity control. This system keeps the Enterprise with both feet firmly on the ground. Life support control systems. This monitors and controls the ship's life support. Life support Life support okay, that's the, same thing. the impulse engines of the USS Enterprise. Looking at them reminds you of several times they threatened to break down. Now the engines are running fine. It's the other sections of the Enterprise that are breaking down. Impulse engine fuel control systems. This system monitors fuel usage in the impulse engines. This seems point. Mr. Scott is wondering how Kirk's adventures are going to affect his poor engines this time. James Kirk, captain of the Enterprise, professional crisis manager. Hikaru Sulu, capable helmsman of the Enterprise, expert physicist, and a natural leader. Certainly, he's destined to become a Starfleet captain. And he does in Star Trek 60s, captain of the USS Excelsior. Pavel Chekhov, a young and somewhat impetuous navigator, likely to mature into a seasoned officer. Angus Walker, an experienced security officer who's seen many strange things on the Enterprise. His memoirs will be very interesting. Well, here we are. The ship is literally falling apart. Space could explode randomly at any moment and destroy the Enterprise. And Spock has been kidnapped by the aliens. Aye, a typical day on the Enterprise. <laughs> Is it too late to put in a request for an early retirement? Scotty, if we hit any more of these random detonations, it'll be mandatory retirement for all of us. Actually, Captain, I was hoping for a better pension. You know, it just wouldn't be... Sometimes I wish... You know, it just wouldn't be the Enterprise without a crisis. Sometimes I wish space were a little more predictable than it is. Captain... 
Surely you must have a plan. Of course I do. I just need to find out what it is, that's all. <laughs> oh, that's very reassuring, Captain. Mr. Scott looks a bit more frazzled than usual, Captain. Well, what do you expect, man? I'm not a miracle worker. There's only so much a person can do. Okay, let's see. I do not know what you've got there, but I've smelled Klingon nerve gas with a better bouquet. Not in there, Captain. Put the gas in the life support pump, then use the controls. This device stores special chemicals that are pumped okay. into the ship's atmosphere when needed and is operated by the life support system. I wish Dr. McCoy had given me the specs on that gas injection system. It looks like a rather clumsy fit. I'll do it, Scotty. You'd think that Dr. McCoy would have some respect for engineering. Let's see how our alien friend likes Dr. McCoy's medicine. Probably as much as we do, Hikaru. Mr. Kyle, can you transport me to auxiliary control? Aye, sir. But I have to remind you how dangerous intership transporting can be. We've really been pushing our luck today. It's supposed to be on a communicator. I'm aware yeah. of that, Mr. Kyle, but we have to take the risk. Look, something's happening. Okay, I'm going to call it a let's play here. Save new game. Replace previous. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.